It's been heavy rain. Heavy rain for 20 minutes. So. Yeah, 20 minutes since it'd be like luck or yeah, yeah, last minute. So. How much fuel do you put in? Like, my block. Yeah. Yo, JD here, and we are here for round nine of IOR Austria here today. And I was really looking forward to this race, having some good confidence from the previous race at, at France, I believe. And I managed to get a P2 there. But again, qualifying is just, I get in the top six every race pretty much this season, but I just need to start in the top three because I feel if I start alongside Surprise and Simon, I feel the race pace is a match to them. I just need to just match their qualifying pace. And if I can do that, then I think I could be fighting for wins uh, week in, week out. So this is very important for me. And dry qualifying, you saw a lap earlier I did in the week. I think that would have potentially been enough for pole or definitely the top three on the grid. But we're in intermediates here, which as I said, I came fully prepared for this as well. Felt pretty good. My PB was an 11.8, but we're on an 11.2 at the moment. We've done quite a few laps on these tyres. This is like my fourth lap on these tyres. We're putting just a lot of fuel in the car and just lapping and lapping, hoping we just get quicker because the track is actually scheduled to get worse towards the end of the session. There's actually going to be heavy rain for the last few minutes of the session. So this is pretty much my last opportunity now because we're not going to have fuel for another run here. This is my last opportunity to just put in a good lap. But we're in P7 at the moment with Surprise and Pole. Simon and P3, I believe, at the moment with Joe, who always out-qualifies me. Well, them three always out -qualify me in P2. I just need to start at the front because if I can do that, then I feel I've got the chance to go for the win here coming into the penultimate corner now just giving it everything i can trying not to corner cut the inside hitting this curb or trying to go on that curb because it really will unsettle the car coming across the lines it's gonna be 11 we do a 12-0 of a purple last sector and yeah <sighs> nice job matt simon's looking pretty vulnerable uh. But unfortunately, we went out again and snazzy evening and EVR Reynolds managed to improve before the end of the session as the track just got worse and we come P6 I mean, we this we session. Another six hundredths yeah. of a second would have put us in P4 yeah. right with Surprise and Simon. And, Reynolds, and that was that was incredibly, line, incredibly yeah. Frustrating, so we just got to use our race pace now uh, and just see what we can do. But if you want to subscribe to my videos, please hit the bell once you do subscribe because you'll get notified every single week. A new league race will be every single Monday. I'm going to race tractor. Uh, surprise on supers, Simon supers, snazzy snoopers. I'm going supers. As Martin's just not to find me of the is tire it? choice uh, there, which is actual a graphical sure? glitch, even though you select it, even though it says um, well, it looks like I'm using super softs. I'm actually uh, going to be sounds, on sounds, the sounds, ultra sounds. softs here, which is just a glitch in the game. Great game. Yeah. Um, because I'm starting sick, <laughs> I felt if I started higher up, I would actually oh, be right. on the super soft tire Martin's instead. On softs. Interesting. As Martin just giving me great information, which he always does. Well, I think he's actually helped me quite a lot in a few of these races this season. But we're going to start on P6 for this race here. Lagging inside someone's car. And now we just got to really just focus on it. As Martin said, it's a very long race. Yeah, and we just got to just do it. So <sighs> starting this race now, as I said, on the Ultra Soft. And we just got to try and make up some positions at the start. Because I feel the race pace is there. I really do feel it is there, uh, which I just say every time. We just got to do a good start, and if we can get close to the prize and Simon straight away, then I think we can really do damage this race and try not to get any warnings and penalties. Well, we've got three lights, four lights, five lights, and away we go now. Getting a reasonable start, getting a pretty decent start, but we're getting kind of boxed in. Don't want to get any damage here. So just trying not to get any damage as Reynolds, actually, or not Langman, sorry, actually goes around the outside of us. So we actually lost a position back down to P7 now. But luckily we have my teammate Tiro Martin behind me as a rear gunning here. Maybe thinking about going around for the move here because you just want to try and just get that position back as soon as possible. But not able to do that around the outside now. And put quite a lot of fuel in the car, over four laps of fuel in the car because I don't really feel 
it really contributes to any more lap time. But again, we're going to go around the outside again. We're really desperate to get this position back as soon as possible. Because you can see already surprise seems to be the case this season. He just gets pole and gets a gap as people squabble behind him with Joe, I believe, in second place as well. It, it just seems to be the case every time. So we need to be near him on the grid because then we can save him and then we can fight him. I feel we have better tyre life and just, as I said, the pace and the race as well. And he's quite prone to penalties as well. So we need to be near him. But now we're back in seventh. It's not what we need. And we're just breaking very early there. Actually locking the tyres going through the last corner because I just don't want to get any damage as well. As more so now actually overtaken Martin. So I'm not quite sure what's happened there. But trying to get a good run off this here. And with the setup here, you saw two seven wings. I kind of adjusted that for the wet conditions. But it's actually very good still in a straight line. And Langman is not defending this inside. So we're going to go down the inside of him. Using the racing on the exit, making sure he doesn't come back of us, and that's a hard but fair move. And now we're back into P6 on lap two of this race. And now we're going to skip on ahead and see if we can catch the group ahead of us, which we do. We've got Snazzy Evenings nope. on the super Head soft down. tire as well. And Martin again just giving me some words of encouragement as we're right in this fight for P2. You can see Surprise has just got away at this point. And the pace is fairly decent, but you can see we haven't really used any amount of fuel, only 0.3 amount of fuel. So at the moment, I am thinking of the long game. Just trying to stay with these guys while saving my ERS and fuel as much as possible because there's no real point. They're batting ahead of us, and it's going to be very hard to overtake them because they've got all DRS ahead of each other. So I was thinking I'm just going to save my tyres, go a bit longer, and then use all the fuel at the end of the race where the pace can really be there. But now Snazzy even and Joe... Are going side by side, so this is not really what I want. And they've just smashed into the wall, and I do not know what has happened there. That must have been a major, major desync. And Joe has actually now retired from the Grand Prix, he actually destroyed this car. So that has now promoted us to P4 in this race. So that's two easy positions, luckily for me, but unlucky for them. And now we've got to focus on trying to catch Reynolds ahead of us. So Simon's on the super soft, but Reynolds on the ultra soft. But we're coming under attack from Langman, so we just can't really relax too much. He's thinking about it, but doesn't really make a super committed move. Um, not really what I want at this point, because I really want to, again, to just save as much fuel as possible. Catch them towards the end of the stint when their tyres go off. Uh, and then, yeah, then unleash the real pace once they go on the soft tyre, which should be a fairly comfortable one-stop now. But now we're going to try and get into the DRS of Reynolds ahead of us because we're coming under attack from Langman. So you can see we're really pushing now. This is a lap I've actually decided to start pushing in this stint. And you can see we're actually already back in DRS. So it see, shows we've got some plenty of pace underneath the tank. And now we've managed to drop Langman a little bit behind us. I don't know, I'm not sure what's happened to him actually. Maybe he's actually pitted. But now we've gone to the back of Reynolds and now we're starting to pressure him. And I think now his tyres are probably going to start going off because he's on the controller. Will's tyres can just handle the pressures or just the temperatures a little bit more. So he's gone a little bit wide here, so he gets a little bit of a poor exit. And now we're going to overtake, and this should be a relatively comfortable move. He's not actually going to defend this. Uh, thankfully, this time he's not defending this, which I know he's a very hard batter. But we've now gone into P3 in this race now. A nice, fairly comfortable move. He's actually gone for the switchback, and I'm not going to go cut across him because the desync in this game is pretty bad as mine. It's telling me to be careful, which I am. But we're actually going to go around the outside of him. He tries to fight it on the inside, but we thankfully managed just about to get the move done. And now we are P3 in this race now. Yep. And skipping on to the start of lap 11, you can see the gap is... I'm not quite sure what uh, the gap is. Lap nine. Uh, I'm not sure why. I'm drunk, but... <laughs> he might get trapped with on here, but he's just sitting duck. As Martin's giving me some more information as well. So 2.7 seconds behind Simon and quite a way behind Surprise. Surprise is gone. Six second time penalty. As he's notified me, Reynolds has actually got a penalty Reynolds. behind me as well. So that alleviates a, just a slightly bit more pressure now. But we pit at the end of lap 13. Surprise actually pitted two laps before us. So I just want a fresher tyres to the end now. Um, because he's actually going to be held up in traffic a little bit. So I decided to stay a, a few couple more laps to avoid being held up in the pits as well. Simon continues because it's on the super soft tyre. And now he's got fresh softs. Yeah, and you can see Surprise has gone past now. And we should be able to see what that gap is. And it's very possible that we can close in on him at the end because two that fresher tyres is a fairly significant round here. And if he gets involved in traffic as well, as we come out just ahead of overkills, which is absolutely crucial we've got a, a bit of a train behind him as well 
and you can see what the gap is going to be now coming through this first sector split is 6.7 seconds now and we'll keep an eye on that gap for the rest of the race to see how much if any amount that comes down for the end of the race now and now on this lap starting lap 15 Simon has actually pitted now and we'll be able to see what the gap is to him and he's got the freshest softs out of us three now who are technically we're in um, a net p3 in this race at this point it's overcoast behind this magic go a little bit away from him you see surprise going to be a little bit challenging but we're 4.8 as my engineer just says exactly at the same time as me there so 4.8 seconds is the gap but we haven't got any warnings at this point in the race and it's very easy to get warnings in this race as well but we're going to skip on to the fastest lap. we can see the gap is 4.5 seconds now so we're actually we're the quickest car on track at this point. We're actually closing in on Surprise, who Simon's quicker than Surprise. And we are still quicker than Simon on all the tyres as well. And you can see Surprise has cleared a little bit of traffic now. The gap has come down again to 4.4 seconds. You can see we've got the pace. The pace is there. We just need to be with them. And <laughs> if we could just be with them, please, in the future qualifying sessions, then we can really do that. And that's what I desperately want to do. But the race is not over at this point. As I said, penalties play a massive factor in this. So coming through here now, this is actually, my, as I said, my fastest lap of the race. And this is a really good example of what most laps were. It's super consistent and clean. You can see going green just a little bit here. The gap is just maintaining with Simon through here now. And we've got Reynolds still with us. So Reynolds, although he's got a lot of penalties, he's sticking in with us very, very nicely. And we've got my teammate in P7 as well. So with Red Bull, we're doing quite well with this race so far. And we're hoping to get a good result. We'll do another 6.9. That's still 4.5 seconds to Simon, who's getting involved a little bit more traffic now. But we're going to skip on to lap 24. Reynolds again is still staying with us. And again, I think he's got I think he's got over 15 seconds worth of penalties, but we still haven't got a single warning this race. And the gap is still 4.5 seconds. But the gap to surprise, it's my engineer just said that it was 5.5 seconds or something. So we've closed over a second on Surprise this race. You can see it's there. We just need to be with him, as I keep on saying. But we're under, coming under attack from Reynolds now. And instead of looking forward at the gap, this is not what I wanted because I really wanted to stay with it within six seconds. Because if I stay within six seconds and I have two penalties, we can still win this race. As Reynolds is coming under attack from us, he's trying to go around the outside. Get a little snap of oversteer there, but we managed to keep the car just about on the track. So Reynolds is doing very well. He's got very good pace. And as I said, DRS is incredibly powerful around here. And now I just wanted Simon and Surprise to start battling. If they could start battling, then I feel really we could really catch up. As Reynolds has actually gone off and he's actually destroyed his car on the curb, I believe. Which stops the pressure from behind we can really focus on the head now but that's very unlucky from him <laughs> as mine is just describing what happened there but yeah we just need to as martin's actually coming into fifth place now but the gap is now 5.3 seconds now um, because they're just DRSing each other and my goal is just to stay in six seconds because if we can do that and then and they have two penalties. That means we can still win this race as well. So I was just pushing very, very hard. But we've got Snazzy even. He's about to unlap himself. He's actually pitted on the ultra of the super soft tie. So we're not going to really fight this too much. He's not really going to cost us too much time. I think the gap is like five or so seconds behind. But we actually did get a penalty. And we actually got, I think we've got three warnings on one lap. Like a few laps ago. So that means we need nine seconds of penalties from surprise to win this race and that's very possible because it's very very easy to get penalty around here pretty much almost every corner you can get a penalty a snazzy evening such go get the inside of us we're not going to fight this too hard um because he's the quickest car on track at this point and maybe even use him for the rest of us up to see if we can just gain a slightly bit more time but simon and surprise haven't really been battling that much this race at all which is uh, what I wanted, I really wanted them to really fight it out and battle and get maybe get penalties or even damage or something, but that wasn't the case. And I think that's something that does need to be changed for this game is maybe the DRS and the slipstream to not be as powerful as is. I think maybe last game was definitely better in terms of slipstream and DRS, so hopefully they can change it for future games. But we've actually come home in P3. Uh, surprise did have one penalty which meant simon has actually won this race and we've come home in p3 
only six seconds off the lead in the end. And being held up in that first stint after starting seventh from goal or starting sixth and going back down to seventh shows what it could have been. We just really need to be just higher up on the grid. If we could be higher up on the grid, then we can battle with these guys. And we've got Silverstone coming up next, which is probably my best track on the game in terms of pace. So I'm really hoping to get a good qualifying there. If we can do that, then I want to pick up some wins this season. So hopefully you've enjoyed this race. It probably wasn't the most dramatic or entertaining race, but it shows that the pace is there. We just really need to just focus on the qualifying. And if we can do that, then we can do some damage for the rest of the season. I'll put the standings down below. I'm not quite sure where I am at this point when I'm making this video. Probably maybe P3 or P4. I don't know. I'm at least P4 in the championship because I had quite a few podiums this season now. Uh, three second places and multiple third places. I want to get some multiple first places now. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this and I will catch you soon.